Okay, fun one today. I built a homemade trolling motor, mostly 3D printed, and I want to see what kind of power and force it has just off 12 volt battery. I'm using a 18 volt uh, motor out of a bandsaw, porta band, and it has gear reduction. And then I'm also using a 90 degree drill adapter that has a two to one gear reduction. So just curious how it'll work. Um, so there is the 3D printed prop and drill adapter, 90 degrees. And that is a two to one gear reduction. So that should give me twice the torque, half the speed at the prop. What I have driving it is a motor. It's about a 775 size. It's from a port band. It has a gear reduction right here. And this is a planetary gear reduction. And this is a 5 to 1 gear reduction. So I have this motor going to a quarter inch threaded rod which goes down this PVC shaft, threads into the drill adapter down there, and the, um, the prop also has a quarter inch tap, so that threads into the drill adapter as well. So I'm gonna use a small 12 volt battery to power it. I have a little gauge here to see what kind of amp draw, what kind of voltage I have, and then I built a little 15 amp speed controller. So I want to see what kind of thrust I get with just one 12 volt battery and then I'll probably add a second 12 volt battery just to see the difference that it makes. Um, disregard this, this is a different project. This is a, actually a motion sensor cat repellent project and totally different story. So anyways, I have a little bucket of water and then I have a scale attached to the side. This scale unfortunately only goes up to six pounds thrust or six pounds I'm sorry. So hopefully um, I can at least max this scale out off the 12 volt battery. I'd like to get at least six pounds of thrust. So this isn't going to be ideal because the prop is not going to be in six inches below the water line. Ideally you want the prop like uh, 12 to 18 inches I believe. The center of the prop um, below the surface of the water so not ideal and there's not going to be proper water flow because the prop will be so close to this wall but it should give me somewhat of a decent idea so let's give it a shot definitely help if I turn the scale on so sorry for the view my head is definitely gonna get in the way as I try to read the scale but let's see what we got all right scale is teared out Not ideal, but that was a pretty janky setup. <laughs> so with that, I got about four pounds of thrust, almost about five pounds. So not ideal, but it's a start. All right, this test is at 24 volts. So I want to see what kind of amp draw first. I think I'm just going to see what kind of amp draw I get. Turn the scale on though. So 
so that's great. It's less than 5 amps. And that's all due to the gear reduction. Oh yeah, easily goes over the limit on here, which is six pounds. So that's good. I may eventually mess around with the gearing. So right now there's five to one gear deduction on the port band motor. And there's two to one reduction at the prop. So if I switch the prop around, it'd be a one to two reduction rather than a two to one. So what that would mean is it would take the five to one reduction and it would turn it into two and a half to one reduction. So that would increase the RPMs dramatically, but it would lower, or I'm sorry, it would increase the amp draw, it would lower the torque big time. So. It's always a trade-off, speed versus torque. So right there was great, 24 volts. It drew less than five amps. So I have a 15 amp speed controller and without gear reduction, I'm sure this would be drawing 20 amps at least. So I'm happy, it's under five amp at full load. Um, again, this pretty janky setup my scale there but easily max the scale out which maxes out at six pounds and so I'm happy with that